Welcome, Welcome back, back Heart family. family. Today we are doing another Q&A and I got them here in the basket. I actually have no clue what these questions are. <laughs> Amber wrote them all out on the piece of paper and I rolled over there and she's like, no, don't look. So this is all going to be news <laughs> to me. You guys seem to like the Q&As, so that's why we're doing another one. If you guys do like these videos, make sure to drop a comment down below. Studio has another phone. We already took one away. See, what's funny is when we left where we were living at my parents' house, uh, when we would record, we'd always tell everyone, like, be quiet, we're going to record. So when we got our own place, we were like, yeah, we're going to have like no issue doing that. But now the dogs, whenever we try to record, are like barking or grabbing their toys and it's like... Chewing in the background. <laughs> you guys it's are... like, <laughs> sometimes when we're doing just a quick TikTok video, um, we either lock Kujo all the way in the master bathroom, which is the farthest room away. Like right now, he's drinking water. Like they were all <laughs> just... Or all. They were both just sleeping before we turned on the camera. And now... The second we start talking, they're like, cool, I'm going to start doing everything that's annoying. All right, let's get into the questions. Which one of us is more likely to say something inappropriate in front of family? I'm pretty reserved in front of Amit's family. I feel like See, I'm I don't know the answer to this one because it's like, Nevin grew up in a family of boys and his parents are young. So like, when I started dating him, they would say out of pocket things. Yeah. I grew up with an older sister and so like, we would not talk about certain things at the dinner table or like anything because it was just us two girls and it's like our dad doesn't want to hear anything. I would say I would say the most out of pocket stuff in front of my own family where I'm comfortable. I feel like I've gotten more comfortable with your family though. Yeah. Like I've said more out of pocket things now. And I feel like it kind of came with Nevin's injury too because like we're all super open. I got a slayer so hopefully. <laughs> What's one thing I do in public that makes you want to roll away? Fart. <laughs> That's easy. What? I've never farted. That's probably. such a lie. She <laughs> farted in the elevator the other day while while I just hit the clothes button and I was like, I hope someone's at the bottom so they walk in and be like, holy shit. But then they probably think it was me because I'm in the wheelchair, like, oh this guy can't hold me. Yeah, I can't be the pretty girl standing next yeah. to you. Fart, fart, for sure. <laughs> if we were in a bank heist, how would you use the wheelchair to escape? I'm gonna be the one holding oh. holding the you know what at the door. So if anyone rolls up on us, I got him. Because I'm not going to be hopping over the, the counters and grabbing the money. Wait, you are? <laughs> I'm going to be sitting at the door, and I'm going to be the first one out, you know what I mean? So then, while you're running, you can just push me with you out the door. And I can cover um, or say, well, And then we put it all on your lap. Yeah, and then because you Because I need my hands to push you. You push, and I just mow them down. Where'd you get these questions from? Oh, chat deep. Who gets more attention in public? Nevin in the chair, or Amber beside him? I feel like it's a good mix. Yeah, I feel like it probably depends on the day. Or like me, it's usually like, no one's usually 20 years old in a wheelchair. So yeah. it's like a very big, you know, eye-catching thing. Cause it's like, oh, he's in a wheelchair and he's really young. I feel like I get the most looks maybe when... I always, I always laugh because like, Nevin will hold the door open for me. And I'll be like standing there waiting. And sometimes it'll look like he's struggling. So I feel like people probably look at me the most when that's happening because they're like, well, why aren't you opening the door for your man or? Because you never do. What is the funniest place you've gone stuck? A couple days ago, we were trying to do some bike trails and he was like, oh, I can make it over this log. Oh and then he God. definitely didn't make it over the log. And then like slow motion. 30 seconds later, this guy and his daughter walked oh. by and they're like, do you need help? <laughs> I'm like laying over on the side of my bike, like I'm on the side of my bike and there's like a pile of big old logs on the side of me. I'm like, uh, I'm okay. And he's like, nah, let me help. I would just say like the first one that popped to mind. I didn't really get stuck, but when I first got injured, we went to the river and I wheelied out the back of the camper and I got my front wheel stuck and I flew out the chair. And there was a girl on a swing set right in front of us and she did not know anything was happening behind her, she had beats on, and that was really funny, but that wasn't really a stuck story. How has the wheelchair changed the way you see love and commitment? I feel like through this injury, like you definitely see like a lot of couples split up. If you truly love someone, you'll be with them through like thick and thin. I don't know if it's really like changed too much on how I see love and commitment because growing up, like my parents have been married for somewhere in the 30s. I know they would always be there for each other, and that's what I grew up with, and I knew like they're best friends and they're gonna get through whatever they need to get through together. If I was a piece of adaptive equipment, which one would I be and why? If you were a piece of adaptive equipment, I don't know, I guess I'd just have to say the both. He loves going on that thing and he likes going fast and 
I was like, if you don't say a bowhead, I'm like gonna cry. I'm like, I go on. If I could go on it <laughs> every day, I would. You were in a piece of adaptive equipment. You'd be an adaptive wake skier. Oh, that's okay. why I see you guys. Just because she likes the water. All right. Is that a good or no? Yeah. It's so humid. No, it's not really humid today, but it's like definitely like more damp. And I feel like I'm always sticky and I don't feel clean whenever it's yeah. like humid. It's like San Diego weather. I'm like, like scratchy. That's why I like keep wearing this, this in my face because I feel like I have like moisture on it. No, you're just tweaking out. No. Has a wheelchair ever made intimacy easier or harder? Never easier. Yeah. Just harder. Have you ever run over my foot on purpose? Uh, probably. No. <laughs> <laughs> not on purpose, but like just messing around. Like. Yeah. So on purpose. But not like blatantly like I'm mad at her. I'm gonna run her <laughs> foot over and pretend it was an accident. No. More like we're messing around. And I'm like, you know what? And then. Yeah. And then you actually run over her foot. <laughs> Would you rather have nitrous boost on your wheelchair or monster truck wheels? Just monster truck wheels, so I could go like wherever I wanted to. It's like more practical. It's based outdoors every day, so. You'd just be like this with nitro boost. <laughs> <laughs> Who's more likely to push the wheelchair uphill, Amber or Nevin himself? Uh, it depends on how big the hill is. If it's not that big, I'll do it, but if it's like boat ramp steep, then she's pushing me. I'll usually say like, you want help? I'm right here. Just let me know. And then he's like, okay, help me. But it's like a super steep hill. And then by, we, by the time we get to the top, I'm like, who takes longer to get ready? It just depends. In the morning, me. Yeah. But if we're getting ready at night, Amber. If your wheelchair could talk, what embarrassing story would it tell about you? Probably just be like, no one's rolling around in piss right now. Because like the amount of times I pee myself <laughs> in public, and like no one knows. What's something about intimacy people would never guess? I got the infinity no nut glitch. <laughs> Unless we use a device. Yeah. Even then, I sometimes have it. Yeah. <laughs> if your wheelchair had a horn, what would it sound like? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know, if I wanted like either like a, a steamboat, like a freaking cargo boat, it's like ah, ah. What, what, what would you choose if you, every time you push it's like playing a song? I'd probably play like WAP or something. Just wet ass <laughs> pussy. Uh, <laughs> wet ass cushion seat. I pee my pants all the time. Okay, get out of here. Uh. Next question. <laughs> if you were trying a theme song, what would it be? You guys heard that answer, so next one. How many times a week do you hit the door frame? Okay. Now she just wants to play games. Every day I have uh, The apartment complex does not hear that. Who's more stubborn? <laughs> this one. No, that's so much a lot. No. No, because if we're like okay. doing something, I'm usually the first one to apologize I'm, or like I'm more make stubborn. amends. I'm more stubborn. Yeah. Yeah. See? She won't go against her word. That basically proved my point. Who's more stubborn? Who farts louder? <laughs> like, you! That is such a weird question, but no, it's not me. It's Amber. <laughs> I don't it's even, you. That's such a lie. <laughs> no, Why would you even put you. that in? You're gonna play yourself. <laughs> that was don't let him fool you guys. Even though he's paralyzed, he farts freaking loud. That's such a good Every day. She literally puts in the in. bathroom? Oh my god. You're such a liar. <laughs> that's such a lie. When we get up in the morning, I've never heard. I grew up in a house with three, four dudes, including me. Never one of us ripped loud as Amber does in the morning. Would Wait, that, don't even lie. Em, I'll be in the kitchen doing dishes and I hear you. <laughs> you know that's true. At our old house, she was scared because our walls were kind of thin when they redid the house. And she would be scared that my parents would hear her blowing that shit up. Who's the jealous one? Uh, I'm Either. not really jealous. We're both not jealous. I was being in a wheelchair. It changed the way we do date nights. A typical date night? I feel like it hasn't really changed. I mean... Not too much. I mean, we have gone to a restaurant before where the tables were all too low. Or opposite issue, we've gone into a place before too where all of the tables were the bar height, like super tall. So I hope you guys enjoyed this Q&A kind of wheelchair edition, I would say. Um, sponsored by ChatGPT. If you guys want to see some actual questions that you guys have answered again, then go ahead and drop some down in the comments below. We can always post more stories on our other socials and get some comments there. We'll, we'll catch, catch you next time, time our family. family. Peace.